Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. It has been quite a bit of time for me since I last played some Isaac and of course, of course we jump in as the Lost, of course. We've actually done a lot as the Lost already so we're going to be going for Mother or the Beast here. Um, but Lost runs are fun, I like them. They are just a bit scary, and we actually have a mod on now where we can pick up uh, Lost Heart Tokens, which allows us to play Blood Banks and such. Really cool mod, so I'm going to have to trust that it'll work. <laughs> but you can see them just uh, next to my coins there. Basically, whenever we pick up Red Hearts, we'll get uh, counters on there. Cyanide's not going to do anything for us. Ooh, Keeper's Kin's pretty nice here. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, it's been a little while since I played this game. It's been it's been quite a bit of time, actually. Um, and for, for me, you may be wondering what is quite a bit of time. It's been six days. Six whole damn days. Um, as you guys might have already known from previous episodes, I kind of spoke about it a little bit. I went, I was away for the weekend. Oh, thank you very much. I was away for the weekend and went to a wedding. Um, it was really fun. I really enjoyed myself. Um, it was just overall really good. It was quite a posh wedding because just the people that were getting married were uh, like having sort of a bigger wedding. But it wasn't it wasn't crazy big. I expect it to be kind of bigger than it was, I'll be honest. Um, ooh, is that... I think that's one of the heart coin things, yeah. I don't think habit's really going to do too much for us, is it? Um, yeah. Uh, when reaching a new floor, it's a chance to hatch to familiar. Okay. Sounds decent enough. Um, yeah. And it was really good. I had to go down to uh, Dover, which, for those of you that don't know, is at the very bottom of the UK, past London. Um, and I do not live anywhere near the bottom of the UK, so it was a seven-hour drive uh, on the way there because of traffic, which was um, pretty frustrating, I will admit. It wasn't, uh, wasn't great, but that was close. But... We got there in the end, and we had a very good time of it. Uh, the, the wedding was was really beautiful. It was really nice. I'll take a speed up, actually. Um, we'll try and go mother here. Telepills. God damn it. Um, yeah, I gotta say, the wedding was was really, really beautiful. It was really nice. Um, they sort of had their ceremony, like, outside. It was really nice weather, luckily. And then, they, they basically, they'd hired out, like, a castle. Not, like, a massive grand castle. It was actually quite a small one. But it was, like... It was kind of like the broken remnants of a castle that had been... Oh, thank you for Ghost Baby. Um, and it had been kind of... I probably should have re-rolled Ghost Baby there, but oh well. Um, yeah, uh, and it had kind of been like reworked into a more modern building. And then they had like a little modern bit on the outside, like sort of a tent thing. It was just really, really nice. Um, and we moved out sort of inside after a little while. I'm going to be just taking all these pills here. Tears Down really does make me quite sad though. Um... Yeah, we ended up moving inside um, later on to have food and stuff. And oh god damn it, this is this is not good. This is really not good. I could very easily die in this room. Oh god, I think I am going to die in this room. I'll be honest. Not only is there a little smidgen of lag, but there's all these bouncy heads about that don't tend to bounce where they should. Oftentimes. Luckily, we don't have to kill the bounty folk, but there is an eternal champion in here. I'm having trouble getting to. Oh god, there's also a normal champion in here as well. This is going to be rough. I can't believe I got hit at the very start of this room, right when I was getting on my tangent as well. But yeah, in terms of question of the day, uh, have any of you been to a wedding? Um, if so, how was it? If not, um, do you know when the next one will be? I've only ever been to two in my life. Um, I know that some of you are younger and probably won't be able to answer it. Maybe your parents got married. Um, I know some people have had that situation. Pretty fly, thank you. Um, okay, I don't think that's intentional. I don't think it's meant to leave a, a mark on the floor. But hey her, it is what it is. Watch battery here is potentially kind of nice. Not with this active, but yeah. Um, the the had an open bar. You could just get as much as you want. That was very nice. They got a, a little dude on a bike to come round, and he he served us um, like homemade ice cream. It was awesome. It was really really nice. Oh, can we get some keys, please, game? Can we get some keys? Thank you. Yeah, it was really really nice. Had this little dude come around and like serve us. Do you know what? More speed. Oh, I would have loved Pyro. But more speed is really nice, and I think Sailor's Hat is actually just generally kind of good anyways. I'm going to blow up this because it's going to give us a bunch of spiders. And by a bunch, I mean a bunch. 
would have been good to get Pyro in case we got like Dr. Fetus or something. I know it's unlikely, but that would have been a great item to get with um, Keeper's Kin. Would have been a lot of fun. Just run for it here. Trying to waste too many spiders. Okay, we do have Wormwood. We can probably get a bomb on him straight off the bat here. He is Eternal. I think this will kill him. Oh, didn't quite, but we got very close. Oh, this... This is a genuinely very difficult fight. I forget how hard Eternal Wormwood can be. As you can see, he um, poots out a bunch of shots as he uh, dives up from the floor here. Yeah, it's definitely not meant to leave those on the floor, but hey her. Um, oh, this was a unfortunately quite crap, um, quite crap Devil Deal room for us there. Anyways, we keep moving on. We keep moving on. And yeah, it was just it was just a really good weekend. And then like, the next day, we went over to the uh, bride and groom's house um, and like spent the day there um, and kind of walked around the town a little bit. I played some Pokemon Go while I was there, which may not be the best use of my time while I was down there, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, I'll be honest. Um, being able to get some different regional Pokemon and um, find some shinies and stuff that was quite fun. There was like an event day on while I was down there. I don't know, it was just a, it was just a pretty good weekend. I enjoyed myself a lot. Not something I get to do very often. Like I said, it's only my second wedding uh, that I've ever been to, so... Oh, bag of crafting. Hell yes. Bag of crafting can be very good. And it's an item that I, I don't really get to use that often. I know that it did used to have crashes around uh, surrounding it, but I don't know if it still does. Yeah, I have no idea if it still has crashes. I guess we'll find out. But just make sure before my first use to do a, a quick save. A little save. I have just today started um, playing Elden Ring. Well, I said just today. It was it was like last night. Um, I I bought it. I was going to say in the Steam Summer Sale. It wasn't actually on sale, but the Steam Summer Sale had me in a buying frenzy. And I was like, do you know what? I've never played a Souls game before. And everyone says how damn good this game is. I'm going to have to try it. I just beat the... Um, the first like tutorial boss it took me like 80 attempts it was very very difficult but i just about managed it it was a it was quite a fun little morning actually um as stressful as it was yeah we'll take a flat one damage up here i probably shouldn't have done this considering i don't have any bombs just in case we get some really rough uh, bosses although i will say you keep doing that attack over and over again and i'll be very happy Good, good, and you nicely coerced yourself right into that uh, bomb there. Oh, you did too. This is going very, very well until I got hit. Now it's not going so well. Okay. Ooh, doggy. That was a little risky, but we, we made it through. Honestly, I realize that bombs are kind of useful, but I just want to fill up my bag. I'll take one and... Suck up the rest. I probably should do it the other way around, but oh well. Pretty good stuff. Bag of crafting on a regular run so good. You get all your items and get to craft a bunch too. It's top tier. It's top tier. And I will be pretty much sucking up every single thing humanly possible. Unless I desperately need it, like a key or something. I will be trying to suck it up. I mean, we've already gotten so much damage. I'm pretty happy. Uh, we don't need a key right now, so I'll suck that up. The Sailor's Hat's doing pretty well, to be honest. Apparently it's a Jojo reference as well, which I never knew, but <laughs> someone told me that in a previous episode. I mean, I never would have known. I haven't seen Jojo ever. Okay, that, that key I will take. That key's an extra. Okay, I think we're out of here. We do have a bomb for the boss in case it ends up being a tough one. It's not particularly a tough one, but I will bomb this because we'll get a bunch of spiders and damage him. Which I feel like just leads to a very quick kill, yeah. And we get perfection here as well, very nice. Can I bag of crafting that? I doubt it. I can. And I don't know what it counts as, but I can. Um, okay. We were meant to be going to the, uh, the downpour here, so I've, I've made some mistakes, I'll admit. Um, we'll give ourselves our knife piece. 
We are getting some errors in here. Oh boy. Give ourselves a knife piece. We'll keep going. We'll try and get two bombs on this floor. Just remember to actually pick them up. I don't think, yeah, I gotta say, I don't think I want to actually do that. And especially if the item isn't very good. Just because those rooms have killed me many a time. God damn, our damage is crazy. So we'll take that. Actually, I was gonna say our damage is crazy. We just got Tropica Maya. That's not actually anything to do with our damage. And then we will craft. Eh. Eh. I mean, getting a lucky penny in there isn't a bad thing, I guess. Right, don't use any bombs. We might need to buy one as well, actually. I didn't think about that, but we might have to buy one. I will pick up that key as normal. He's not amazing, but he's definitely grabbable. Also, I've just realized how insane Bag of Crafting is going to be with perfection. Because we're going to get a bunch of chests. This is actually going to be kind of nutty. I didn't really think about how good this is going to be. Obviously, we're going to get a lot more coins than most other things. But we're still going to get a lot of room drops and therefore a lot of items here. God damn, I love these spectrals. Unfortunately, just a book, but it is at least a book, which does count towards bookworm. It's not completely useless. It's just mostly useless. But yeah, the other wedding that I went to was around eight years ago, I think. No, it was around seven years ago now. Um, and it was another one of Katie's cousins, actually. Um, both of them, both of these weddings were my girlfriend's cousins. Um... Okay. No bomb to buy. I don't know how electric dice would work with this, which is why I have to grab it. Uh, it probably doesn't work at all, but I feel like I have to find out. Oh, bullshit. I also do see there's a Dormimic over there. I will not let that Dormimic destroy me. That would be a very, very big sad. Okay. Keep her going. This is a bit a bit scary that I'm not getting a bomb here because I really want to try and do mother, but I guess we'll just have to see. But yeah, it's kinda it's kinda weird getting there's that bomb. It's kinda weird getting back into um back into it with Isaac, to be honest. I know that, like, to most people, six days away from Isaac is obviously not much. But for me, that's a considerable amount of time, considering it's something I play literally every day. Okay, let's take those bombs, grab that. Drop three random runes. I think we'll take the Perthra, and we'll take the rest in our pouch. Is this guy eternal? Yes, he is. Oh god, we're dead. Oh no, no, no. I did not prepare for this. Okay. That is one thing that I that I do tend to forget and kind of do wish you could do something about is having eternal bosses when you're playing as like lost or tainted lost. It's just BS. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so difficult to not get hit against. I mean, that one there was kind of my own fault. Like, I, I will completely admit to that. By the way, can we do this? Yes, we can. Not that that actually matters, but there you go. Yeah, it's just... It's just one of those things. I, th I feel like the Eternal bosses, are when you're playing Lost or, or Tainted Lost, are just so unbelievably tough sometimes that it'd be nice if you could just flip a setting to make sure they don't show up. But, eh. That's just me being salty, I guess. I, I do want the game to be harder, so it's not a big deal. I do like having um, our tomato tiers, especially if we get uh, perfection. I say if, when we get perfection, as long as we live that long. It's very, very nice. Okay, that doesn't really work. But yeah, we might not end up getting a full run here. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I just need to be more ready for Eternals. I, I really, I came into that fight and I was like, is he eternal? I don't know. It is, that is another thing that's slightly off-putting about eternal enemies. It's like, hey, this enemy is literally all white. 
And now when we when he's eternal, he's literally all white. And it's like he this literally the only way to tell they're eternal is wait for them to attack or notice that they're a little larger. But it's still really kind of difficult to notice when an enemy's sprites are already white. And it's just like, ah. God damn it. Does he just shoot at himself? That was weird. That last shot, he just didn't fire properly. And like that, he just did it again. Oh, dippies. Dude, that was, that was close. I want my bag of crafting back. That was so upsetting. Why did I pick up latch key there? I don't know. I suppose keys are pretty useful. The look upgrade is not great for now, at least. Uh, do you, what? That hit me? Okay. Okay, game, I guess we're playing it like that, are we? Look up speed down. That is really not good. We do not need a look upgrade and a speed down is terrible. And then we're definitely taking whatever this is. Jar of Air is decent. We get these uh, little fly fellas to help us out. They actually do add quite a lot of damage, to be honest. And they are spectral too, which is a bonus. For most characters, it's more, more relevant than a character that already has spectral. But there you go. That's a lot of money. God damn, I miss Bag of Crafting so much. And you might be saying, hey, why don't you play uh, Tainted Cane then? No. I will never. That character is a garbage fire. You may be wondering, how come he's never shown up um, in the series? It's because he's turned off. I just disabled him because he's just not fun. <laughs> I th like even, even once he got changed to not have like predictable recipes, I still think he's the least fun you can have in Isaac. Like, he is an absolute blast when you first unlock him. But after that, I'm just like, nah, this guy's trash. <laughs> Another Eternal boss, and again, I don't really know what this one does. It seems to shoot out cross tiers as well as his normal ones. Okay. Be a little careful, but we're doing good damage. There you go. Got this stupid thing again. Yara. Bacana. I guess I'll just pick up the Yara and take it along with me. Sin Robe's pretty decent. Good damage up. And down we go. This has been going... It's been going okay. It's been going okay. But yeah, since I got back, I've kind of just been kind of like... For one, I, I've been like modding Skyrim more. I'm still trying to get that ready to maybe do a series. Although, I will say it's not going great. <laughs> like, I've... I've got all the mods set up perfectly, in, in my opinion, they're, they're, they're really solid. And the game runs reasonably well. It runs at around 40 to 50 FPS outside and then like 60 to 100 inside, which is pretty fucking good, really. But there's one pretty major problem. The very moment I start recording, that FPS gets essentially halved and I'm not quite sure why. Um, I think it's just my PC is just struggling, which is surprising, but it is what it is. So I'm kind of like trying to find a way around that, because at the minute, I can't really record when sometimes when I'm outdoors, I'm sub 30 FPS. It's like, not not great for gameplay. So I, I'm, I'm seeing if I can fix that by like, reducing some of the graphic mods and things like that. I'm, I don't know, I'm playing around with it. It's been a fun process, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy modding Skyrim, it's just, oh. A wholeheartedly fun um, little bit of gameplay, to be honest. A little bit of... I won't say gameplay, but you know what I mean. It is just fun to fun to mess around with. Okay, we got this fella again. Of course, he is eternal. The thing is as well, like, you, even if you had the eternal rewards on, eternal hearts don't do anything for this guy, so... Not very useful. Ah, oh, finally we got perfection. Oh, apology. Hell yes. And um, some trash. And um, some trash. I guess I'll just take you. Not amazing, but it is what it is. 
Yeah, and then and then like with Steam Summer Sale coming around, there's been, there's been a few games. I've, I've, to be fair, I've got a list of games that I just I need. Uh, I like I need to sit down and play. I just need to sit down and and have a good sesh on them. And Elden Ring is is the first one on the list, really, because I feel like that's a game that I will love because I love difficult games. But I've just not really given it the time of day, like Souls likes. I've not really given them the uh, the full look over that they deserve. Take that as well. Ooh, that is a lot less speed, I'll be honest. That is a lot less speed. Falgut doesn't do anything for us. This may have been a bad decision, to be honest. I, my speed is pathetically low right now. Dirty Mind is pretty nice. Yeah, speed is uh, definitely an issue now. I am sluggish, so to say. So very, very sluggish. But yeah, I also bought Red Dead Redemption 2, which I do already earn on PlayStation. But um, for one, PC does have mods, and they seem kind of interesting for that game. Also, uh, I thought I used on my bombs again, but I didn't. Um, I picked one. Um, yeah, for, for one, I did already, like, like I, on PC you can mod it, which seems interesting. But also, I played it such a long time ago, and I never finished it. And it's like, I feel like the PC experience will drive me more to play it. And also, even if I don't play it for a while, it's just nice to have it on PC, just to have it there. Our tears are going to go wild here. You can just see him, like, going all over the place. And then Apology's going to make him go even wilder. Like, yeah, we have crazy high tears now from uh, Athlete's Foot and Apology. Like, oh my god, crazy ideas. Oh god, the frame rate in this room just then just died. That was close. We are absolutely destroying right now. That was bullshit and you know it, game. Who the hell put those spy... What? <laughs> Do you know, taking two weeks away from Isaac, taking two weeks, well, two weeks, taking a week away from Isaac, and then coming back and playing The Lost, probably not my smartest decision. Probably not my best decision ever. But... To be honest, it is what it is. Uh, I think just going the mother route is bad. Also, doing challenge rooms is bad. Like, I will say, though, that room was some fat BS. It just spawned a spike block on top of me. Like, why are spike blocks even spawning in that room? What are you doing to me, people? Like, I probably had enough time to get out of the way of it, but I just wasn't expecting it, so I just didn't. Hey... Experimental pill. Not bad. I don't actually know what that game was. I never actually looked at the stat upgrade that I got from it. I think it was like a range upgrade or something. Okay. I just, like, whenever I'm playing Lost, I'm just always, like, yearning for tainted Lost stats. Like, the Lost is, like, a decent character to start with, but I just wish he had more stats. Mainly more damage. And the tainted loss damage is addictive. That's why I love playing him. He just starts so strong. It just means you can, like, just kind of destroy the first few floors and not have to worry. It's nice. I've not really been looking for secret rooms this run either, which is probably one of the reasons I've been not doing so well. I see you there, Mega Bean. Damn it. 30% chance. Get so unlucky with it. Secret room could be either one of these, but I'm going to guess here. Full hell. I will check out my shop because I do have almost enough money. Ooh. If I can get myself an extra an extra two pennies, we'll be in the market here. We've got a dime in that other room here, so... You watch it, not give me it. You little sausage. I want Explorer's Instinct so badly. 
God damn with the eternal bosses. They are some big, big brimstones. This guy's not actually too much harder. Just because the brimstone guys kind of just do the same thing at the same time for the most part. Like that, that time they didn't. But yeah, okay, that time they didn't. Okay, when they get out of sync, it gets a lot harder, actually. I will take back my comment. I will rescind it because, yeah, they've got out of sync. Now, what in the sugar? Holy ball sacks. That was crazy. Maybe thinking, why didn't I pick up the pork chop? Well. Well, my silly goose of a friend. I have a reroll now. And I can get something equally as useless, if not more useless. Thank you, game. Oh, I meant to pick up that bomb and I just... I just... My brain doesn't work today. It's just one of those days, people. Sometimes you're going to get an Isaac video where, unfortunately, my Isaac skills are completely phoned in. Um, It's going to happen. It's it's a sad state of affairs, but it just... It is what it is. Don't walk into that cash room. Now you've been hit. That would be silly. It is what it is, but... You might... Okay, that was... That might have been my greatest idiocy to this day. Okay, so what we're going to do is... We're going to end the video here, because I am clearly not in a state to be playing right now. I've just killed myself in this room. But, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and we're just going to take a minute. We're just going to take a minute and, and bask in the in the idiocy of my poor decision making. Um, and I don't know, just, just, just have a little chat. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I'm gonna. I've got a bit to record today. I've. I've kind of got an interesting day lined up. So, Elden Ring in the morning. I. I finished that earlier today. On my lunch break for work, I played Isaac, which is what I'm doing now. Then I've got to play an Enter the Gungeon video that I didn't do yesterday because I was lazy. Um, and then I think Peglin, and then maybe if I can fit in another Isaac later on, I will. And then I'm off out to get food with some friends, which will be quite nice. So, pretty good day lined up. Let me know what you got lined up in your day if you made it this far in. I'd be interested to know. And yeah, either way. And also, if you're going to bed, what you're doing tomorrow instead. There you go. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.